Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer to Dimensions reality update video, episode 47. And it's been, well, it's actually been a day since last episode, so I have all achievements, at least all the normal, the row up to row 13 achievements, and up to Eternity Challenge, actually, I, I was going to say up to Eternity Challenge 5, 5 times, but this just showed up literally at right as I started recording, probably, so I guess that's pretty nice, but... You can see I'm going all the way from E17 to E27 Eternity Points. It's pretty massive, and with my crazy Replicanti speed that is further boosted by the when will it be enough achievement. Like, I don't know how many Replicate Galaxies I'm getting. It's like over 100 per second, which is crazy. Like, like not even after getting the you gain Replicanti 20 times faster achievement, you normally have something like that. And I haven't even gotten many time theorems. I mean, okay, I'm not really... I'm pretty close to 181 already, which is kind of wild. We can also check um, infinities, um, uh, E10 banked infinities, 4 million eternities as well. So, yeah, that, all that's just pretty crazy stuff. I can probably just keep infinitying, and all of a sudden, I'm close to... Or, at least three quarters of the way to getting all the way to study 181, which is again wild. And I'm and it's not even playing optimally. Like I should have gotten this multiply. I should have gotten the EP mult, but I didn't even get it. I could do eternity challenges to speed things up a little bit more. But you can see, yeah, each infinity run it could just take like a second. That's all I need per infinity run and. Yeah, we're now five sixths of the way there, and I should probably just I'm not I'm not even using actually I'm using time study one twenty one is doing absolutely nothing this whole time. And I'm still able to progress. Which is again wild. I think I got two eternity point multipliers from this. So it's gonna be even more. Like I I'm probably not gonna get that much more infinity points, but for eternity points it's probably like hundred something times multiplier and yeah e37 and combined with this i could probably just get time study 181 already which is crazy let's see can i do it 190 not quite there yet maybe i should maybe i should try to actually complete some eternity challenges y you know that's a thing or i can just get time study 181 right here but no i'm, I'm I, I can probably just complete the rest of these. My replication speed is just so buffed now that, like, seriously, it's all. I only need like E600 for the replicated galaxy to start coming in quickly. And yeah, I can probably just get literally two completions of this. And I'm I'm not even using the optimal build. I I can just, I mean, I could just do this, and all of a sudden I have even more time studies that will all boost things. So. And, of course, there is the reward of the challenge itself, which is something that's pretty much useful everywhere. And, yeah, I can... I wonder if I can get a fourth completion of this as well. It's, it looks possible, based on what the challenge is asking me for. I just, I just need E1600 infinity points. And, right, here we go, replicated galaxies... And I can just ride this out, I guess, and boom, there we go. That was so easy. I can probably also just do a turn to challenge 7. Get everything up to 171. Do like three completions of this. It's actually auto-crunching for me because, yeah, I can do three completions of this challenge. No problem. Actually, I can do four completions of this challenge. It's just that easy. And... The reward, I don't know how good the rewards are for every completion of the challenge, but like it's just like going up. Like you can't even see much. The numbers are just so large here that it's crazy. I'm thinking actually a pos um an interesting possibility that I could see happening is having Eternity Challenge seven fifth time actually be possible before like needing to go beat Attorney Challenge 10 once, and also here is Study 181. So, yeah, things are going to get pretty fast at this point, especially once I start getting these new Eternity upgrades. 
I also can stop crunching because I don't need to do that anymore because I'm steady 181 for the win. And I also don't even have any completion of Attorney Challenge 8, which has a great reward. So, yeah, the, I mean, this is just how much the game has shifted in, I mean, I guess my favor? And just how overpowered everything has become through this section of the game. I mean, I mean it is nice to have the first five Attorney Challenge is just completed right, right off the bat, but it isn't even that important to complete it all. I think at this point, I am just going to go for it during the challenge 8. So just go idle. I I'm, I think I'm already using 181, and I'm using, I think, a very less than optimal build here, and I'm still able to just completely demolish the first two completions of it. If I go a little further, I could probably get... Okay, this is a little bit more challenging, but it only takes about five seconds, so that's not challenging by any means. And now we can just go back into this. The, the Tourney Challenge 8 gives a 14% um, Replicanti Galaxy boost. Yeah, anything that boosts galaxies is just automatically OP. That's basically how Answer Random Mentions works. The amazing thing about this section of the game is I can actually automate Eternity Runs. I could do something like X times highest EP and do like whatever, E5, and I could just have this go. It's pretty crazy. It's I don't think it's really doing it right now because it's starting to slow down a little bit, but I mean, clicking one button isn't that hard because the telemechanical process really is just such a nice quality of life upgrade to have at this point. And I think now, now what? Probably the last completion of Eternity Challenge 6, because it is going to be a complete joke. And here we go. And I'm not going to do, I'm going to try Eternity Challenge 8 before 7. I do want to see if 7 is possible, so I actually am going to try this. I will be using everything up to 181 with it. And is this possible with the two power glyphs? Um, it is still not possible. I'm, I'm getting more than I got before, but it is actually still impossible, which is pretty interesting. I mean, at least I break E4000, but yeah, it's kind of, it feels weird to actually not be able to complete a challenge in this stage of the game. I'm just going to keep going active and eventually I'll have enough time theorems to get Whatever, the Eternity Challenge 9, which will be just a, I think, another stupidly easy challenge. So here we go. Here we go. Yep. This is just a complete joke, at just as always. Do this. I'm just, just going to cut this part out. And all five completions are just a complete joke of this challenge. So that that's how weak Eternity Challenge 9 is. And I guess now I'm do I have to do a Dirty Challenge 10, which is also gonna be a joke. Maybe not as much of a joke, but I mean I'm literally E115 Eternity points. I should be fine here and get all of these. This challenge with my power glyph, I can actually do I can do three completions of a Dirty Challenge 10 right off the bat, which feels crazy. Well, and actually. I can't because of the stupid requirement, because those requirements always get me. So, hooray for Eternity Challenge requirements! I guess at this point, I'm just going to click E to Eternity, because it's... I mean, it's pretty easy just to click E and unlock overpower time studies. And then just watch, watch the time theorems roll in, and... Yeah, I, at this point, maybe I can start doing the rest of the challenges. Um, I can't... I somehow can't do 10. Oh, because I don't have the time theorems. Um, what do I still have? 7? This is probably a totally suboptimal thing. Yep, boom. It's a joke. I can probably also do Attorney Challenge 10 if it didn't actually use up literally every time theorem I had in the game. They get Attorney Challenge 8, and if I actually use the right time study build for once, except it keeps... Ah, okay. Okay, do it slower. Like, like this, and this, and then 181, and then I can complete the last thing of Attorney Challenge. Yeah, there we go. 
And yeah, I'm just getting a whole bunch of time studies at this point. They're just, it's just too easy. And whenever it seems like I'm slowing down, I can just click E and, you know, the whole cycle repeats itself. At this point now, I've gotten basically every single Replicanti upgrade I can get, so I can see just how much Replicanti I'm able to get. And it is a lot. I mean, I'm able to hit E like 7,000 in a single second. I can probably hit like E 10,000 in about 10 seconds or less. So, yeah, it's amazing. We can get this. And then, of course, everything is going to start inflating again because that it, that's one of the most powerful time studies other than 232, which is going to be even more powerful if we can just get enough time theorems. Come on, 500, and it's probably going to get... I'm going to get, like, an instant other, another 500 time theorems just from that. And then the attorney points them all the way up to E500. I could probably just start doing Attorney Challenge 10 completions. They're a complete joke with my glyphs, I think. And I think, yeah, I'm just going to go up to 550 here and just wreck the rest of this challenge because, yeah, E5000 um, infinity points. The, pro the only problem is that it just picks, like, the wrong studies here. I mean, okay, this is not a bad study to pick because, yeah, I'm able to get this many time theorems. Yeah, did I say it was the wrong? It was. This is not wrong. <laughs> and we can just get 222 and then get enough time theorems to demolish another version of this challenge. And I can just keep going into it. And it is a joke. So it is. And boom. It literally takes under a second. And then we can get 900 time theorems. It seems like I have 226. So now I basically have the entire tree, except for Attorney Challenge 11 and 12. And of course, yeah, Attorney Challenge 11 is still a thing. And it sucks. Because look how fast I'm going at this point. E1000 Eternity Points already. And I could probably just brute force my way all the way to E1300 at this point. Also, the black hole was going. Maybe that's why I was going so fast. I didn't... I think this is the first case where I'm just playing through the game, the black hole is activating, I don't even notice it. I mean, this is... actually That was actually a terrible time for the black hole to, to happen. If it happened like one minute later, I could have gone into Eternity Challenge 11, anticipating the black hole, and then, like, actually used the black hole. So that's definitely... An oversight on my part. And then Attorney Channel 12 was only kind of painful just because I don't have an actual build for it. Um, I guess I could just use idle. Um, yeah, this this is my this is my de facto Attorney Channel 12 build. Um, it's it's kind of interesting how versatile I make this build. Like I I use it for uh, just idle runs. Attorney Challenge 4 runs, Attorney Challenge 8 runs, and Attorney Challenge 12 runs. So, yeah, no no need in making in needing to make an entirely new build. And also, Attorney Challenge 12 is a, a joke. I, I, just just as all just as like always, because even the last completion of it, it takes about five milliseconds. And then we can just go back into here and keep well. Progressing until I can't progress, and unfortunately, that can't progress is very soon. Because, look at this, I have every Eternity Challenge completed five times, except for Eternity Challenge 11. I also have a lot more Eternity Points. Like, I have 1,400 Eternity Points, but without any Eternity Challenge 11 completions. This is just goes to show how painful Attorney Challenge 11 is. We can enter the challenge, and yeah, it isn't good at this point. I have 7,000 time theorems, too, which is 2,000 more. Okay, technically like 1,000 more than what I need to go into dilation. And I mean, okay, the Replicanti is considerably faster, but even that isn't going to 
make anything because even the first completion with the nerfed version of Eternity Challenge 11 takes like I don't know it's only like a minute actually the first completion is not bad but like I do think replication speed is really gonna help and then also I could just wait overnight and have all the challenges dutifully completed for me and that that was the first completion we can actually see how fast this was i think this took what did it did it even say how much yeah it's saying the attorney challenge 12 runs so it's probably this 52 second run so at least the first part of attorney challenge 11 isn't too bad and then of course when i go into dilation it's everything is just gonna be overpowered once again because i have another nine times dilated time boost on top of what i already have on top of like the replicante glyph boost and the second power glyph and just yeah it's gonna be crazy so stay tuned for next episode hope you enjoyed peace out mm -hmm.